Dominica, Waichi Kuburi, tall is her body. By any name, this island in the Caribbean Sea remains a crown jewel. For decades, even as her neighbors have shifted into the high gear of the new age, Dominica has retained its position as a producer of fresh fruit and food for local use and export. Small family farms are still the centerpiece of a culture that is Creole in language, in music, in art, architecture, and cuisine. Regular visitors to the island are stunned as much by the pristine nature of the island's landscapes above and below the water as by the comfortable feeling of welcome experienced in all parts of the island. In recent years, even the cruise visitors who come for one day to this extraordinary place are captivated by the change of pace that is signaled by the majestic mountains rising straight out of the Caribbean Sea and the tiny villages nestled on the sides of these verdant hills and the natural smiles. On entering the capital city of Roseau, the unmistakable feeling of walking back in time is challenged only by the growing number of vehicles and the familiar signs of international banks on the Bayfront Boulevard. It takes only minutes to cancel out the impact of such modern activity as the 40-acre Roseau Botanical Gardens within 10 minutes of the cruise boat beckons the visitor to a sample of the rich mix of flora, aromas, and colors that characterize much of the island. Within minutes, the sample gives way to the real product that is the nature island, Dominica. After an exciting ride on curling mountain roads, this breathtaking view is available from the front row seat offered in the village of Eggleston to the splendor of the Montuapito National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1998. This viewscape is the spectacular introduction to the small home gardens that still define the twin village communities of Eggleston and Girodere. Production of fruits and food crops using environmentally friendly methods remain the centerpiece of this and other small home gardens of the area. This eco-friendly approach to gardening also characterizes the village of Girodel, where the Alfred family farm has evolved into a business that supports the family and several employees from the production and sale of fruits, vegetables and flowers. As the banana economy of Dominica succumbs to the pressures of new world trade arrangements, tourism is emerging as a major source of income for many rural communities. And four years ago, the search for alternatives allowed the gardening traditions of Girodel and Eggleston to become the centerpiece of an innovative homegrown community tourism effort. The product was developed by the community in partnership with a local tour company and has been offered to cruise visitors to the island for the last four years. Exotica Cottage Resort has collaborated with the flower growers group of Eggleston and Girodel, the village council, artists, and youth of the community to design, promote, and manage this tourism experience representing a slice of the life of the people. At Exotica, following a tour of the fruit producing areas, Faye Martin presents one of the highlights of the tour, a demonstration of the preparation of a local Creole meal, which visitors delight in sampling. The strength of this integrated approach to community ecotourism derives from the control by the people over the design and delivery of the visitor experience. The sustainability of the approach is that the core of the visitor experience is the exposure to a cluster of authentic everyday activities where nothing is contrived. The validity of this product for the entire island is that it demonstrates how it is possible for people to enhance their living while complementing the work of the island's first World Heritage Site by protecting the wildlife 
the land and the water resources that support longevity, health and happiness. The best legacy for our children and Dominica. I bought a bicycle my way.